To start this episode off, the team behind the documentary From Bedroom to Billions are making a sequel of sorts, subtitled The Amiga Years. The result of a successful Kickstarter campaign, which raised over £95,000, the production will explore the influence of the Commodore Amiga and how it helped change the video game industry. You can expect to see it released in January next year. Next up was a leak that revealed a Dino Crisis title for the Game Boy Color was in development and looked to mimic the PlayStation original. What makes it even more interesting is that there was another Dino Crisis planned for Nintendo's Portable, but that was a top-down shooter. Sadly, neither saw the light of day. With these two games and Tyrannosaurus Tex being cancelled, it's almost as if the Game Boy Color had an allergy to dinosaurs or something. In happier news, the Kickstarter to create a new Toe Jam & Earl game was successfully funded, with the title having a predicted release date of November 2015. To continue this positive vibe, Manchester Day, an annual celebration held in the north of England, will be championing the games that have shaped the city's history, including the work of several game developers. The mascot for the day is even based around a Game Boy, with the event taking place on the 14th of June. So I'm sad to sour the mood with the news that Adam Sandler is making a comedy film called Pixels, which is based around invading computer game characters. You can play Pac-Man on Google Maps now though. See the link in this video's description for more details on how. Unsurprisingly, most of the action, so to speak, in this section is happening on Nintendo systems. The Wii U got ports of NES games Kung Fu Heroes and Flying Dragon, The Secret Scroll, as well as Game Boy Advance titles Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow, and Mega Man Zero 3. The 3DS's eShop, in comparison, saw just one retro release, but it was a more than worthwhile one, a remastered version of OutRun that takes advantage of the system's 3D screen. Next, Boulder Dash came out for the Intellivision thanks to the game's original publisher and a band of homebrew developers, but a copy will set you back a hefty $70. Staying on that subject, a premium version of Boulder Dash 30th Anniversary Edition was released on iOS, Android and Windows Phone in March, after complaints from users about the free-to-play iteration. To round things off, the remake of PlayStation 1 title Abe's Odyssey, Oddworld, New and Tasty, is now available on the Xbox One. Hmm, not much to talk about here this month, so you'll have to make do with the fact that work is progressing on the Flashmaster Flash cartridge for the Wonderswan, as you can see here. There's no release date in sight for it yet though. Let's open this segment with three Mega Drive releases, the first being a cartridge version of horror adventure Sacred Line being available to buy for $39, the second Puzzler Doropu, which costs nothing to download, and third an unofficial port of F-Zero, retitled G-Zero. Staying on the subject of the Mega Drive, the first footage of the much-anticipated Project Y for the system was revealed last month as well. Next up is that competitive one-on-one -on -one shooter Star vs for the NES is now available, and an NTSC cart will cost you $40. Another physical homebrew release that arrived in March was a compilation of fan-made games for the Virtual Boy, including Mario Combat and Z Space Racers. Two ROMs of unreleased games were also made available last month, including SNES game Targa and Game Gear Puzzler Wild Snake. To round things off, a slightly dodgy looking Metal Slug homage, titled Kraut Buster, was announced for the Neo Geo MVS and AES. No release date has been given for it just yet though. Four fan translations this month, Vice Project Doom and Super Maru for the NES, Wizardry Chronicle for PC, and finally Wizardry Empire 2, Fukatsu no Tsu on the Game Boy. That's all for this month then, but please do consider supporting this show by clicking that like button or by leaving a comment. Thanks, as always, for watching. Look upon a rarity while you can, for I shall be gone soon.